So Fatu Matutu, which um, literally means um, planted seeds, uh, is a dance piece. My first dance piece is an independent choreographer. Um, this was I'm at a point in my career now where I want to start creating my own work and work that was relevant to today but still incorporate, incorporating elements of traditional Samoan Siva or Samoan dance. So um, Fatu Natato is a story that looks at a young taupo, a maiden from Samoa, and a young taulea lea, which is a young lad or a young male, untitled male from Samoa, who migrate to New Zealand in search of better opportunities. They have been given the blessings from their family, they have been the chosen one to move over there to, um, to work for the family, um, to help either bring people from Samoa to New Zealand or send money back to Samoa to help their the extended family. Once they get into this new environment, um, basically um, everything changes because you um, the climate is completely different, the architecture, the way of life, the fact that their children will be immersed in a completely different culture that they were raised with in Samoa. So um, with that comes um, you know a lot of frustrations because um, what actually happened was that a lot of Pacific Islanders moved to New Zealand post World War Two during the economic boom. So um, the government of the time they opened up the doors for Pacific Islanders to go in as low uh, low income workers. And then once they're there, it's awesome, it's wonderful, it's that um, then they start to discover alcohol because it's not something that they would commonly have in the villages in Samoa. So um, alcohol is a relatively new thing for um so um with that um then during so the economic boom happened around the 1950s, 60s, right up until the 1970s, 80s, and then during the late 70s, early 80s, there was a crash in the um, New Zealand um, economy, and a lot of the factories started shutting down. They, the, the government at the time under Robert Muldoon and the National um, Party, they organised an initiative called the Dawn Raids. Where basically what it is is that Pacific Islanders were being picked up, were, were being picked up in the middle of the night, like uh, probably about four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, and um, deported straight to Samoa. If they couldn't provide their passport or a valid working visa, they were being um, deported straight to Samoa. So, with Fatu Natato, we incorporate the elements of migration getting blessed from the village. We start in the village and show the role of a young man and woman in the village. Then we, we look at their journey and they're traveling to New Zealand. They get here, they work in this new environment and it's wonderful. They're learning how to use their body in different ways, different ways of working. And then um, things start to happen, which causes a lot of frustration in the household where um, the father who would have been the main provider ends up out of work, um, ends up drinking a lot. Um, ends up taking all his frustrations out on his family, his wife, his children, and in some cases, um, women are working three, four jobs, and then um, we create something which is like domestic violence, um, a culture that almost feels oppressed because um, they're not wealthy or they're not in the same class as other as other cultures in New Zealand. All of those frustrations come into the household and it definitely affects the children. So um, in, in some households it's normal to, for our children to see a lot of domestic violence, um, alcoholism um, and seeing um, their parents um, being beaten up by each other. Sometimes it go, goes on to the children and um, yeah so um, that's definitely something that happened in my life being raised uh, around the, in that kind of environment so I wanted to acknowledge the fact that it's still happening. Um, you know I think that it's very important that we that those are the kind of stories that we are, we are telling and also the message of the story is to just um, for the family to mend their relationships is to just um, to really and just hold on to who you are, um, be proud of who you are, don't feel ashamed by the fact that you are living in a society where you are uneducated, where you are um, like a lower kind of class, a lower social group, a low socioeconomic population. Um, that you are still from a rich culture, which is far more, and you still hold a lot uh, with you in regards to identity. That's the message of the story. So hopefully that's coming across. So you've got one more season in October, and we would ideally love to just tour it because um, 
It's not. It's really. It, it's told through Siva Samuel, but it's a universal story. It's a universal story. Yeah. In it, there's a lot of your family members. My father's in it. So is it like natural to cast all of your family members, your cousins in it, your? Not really. Not really, not in the form, because where I am with the school that I graduated from and where I teach at Fitirea, we usually use our students because they're trained, we, we've trained them from the beginning, we've trained them from day one, so usually they're the ones that we use. And um, my dad, because one of my number one, one of my mentors um, and, um, from, and, and professors that used to teach me at Fitirea Performing Arts, he goes, why don't you cast your father, because it brings that authenticity it brings that um it just it really takes it back home and it also attracts that generation of audiences and so many people know my father is a great performer he's everything i learned about dance and someone dance from day one i learned from my father because i used to just sit there and watch him perform for a lot of our community work so um so yeah so and now that i man i would not have had it any other way now i just want to take him all over the world and show everybody how amazing he is and also it was it's um it's like it was a healing for me and my father because um you know basically the 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 angry violent young man that is in the show that used to be my father so um but um you know we went through a lot in our family for my father to learn and I think as an adult once you become an adult and you realize that your parents are only human and um, they go through what they go through in life and everybody reacts differently then I think it makes it easier for you to accept um, you know what they went through what you went through and the fact that um, yeah, yeah that, that is, you can definitely heal it and move on.